going on, everybody? It's a late night stream tonight. Just, uh, just felt like doing this. I'm in the mood. So why not? Since I'm in the mood, why not do this? So here we go. We got somebody here. We're asking people to prove to us that Jesus is a Muslim today. So let me go ahead and probably turn this around and make it look better like that. And here we go. Oh, I meant to bring up Azusa. Oh, hey, hey, bro. Hey, hey Ben. I'm pretty good. Uh, are you a, are you a Muslim, bro? <laughs> no, I'm Christian. Oh, okay. But I went to two thousand dollars, so can I be a candidate? I'm only kidding. Nah. <laughs> I just wanted to say how you've been, man. I haven't been on for a while. I'm pretty good, bro. I'm trying to get the Muslims on mm. to engage, but that's it. I'll drop down. I'll drop down. Just wanted to say hi. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Good to see you. Yeah, bro. Hello. How you doing? I'm fine. How are you this fine evening? I'm pretty good. Thank you for asking. Sorry, are you a Muslim, my friend? Uh, yes, I am a Muslim. All right. Would you like to give it a, a shot to prove that Jesus was a Muslim? Uh, may I go off topic? I'm not really, I didn't really prepare for this topic. Nope. This is the only topic I got, man. What else you want to talk about? Okay. Uh, as a Christian, do you believe that, um, are there any humans that are infallible? Oh, yeah, there are. That's not my topic, though. You, okay. Um, you, you believe that Jesus is a Muslim. I want to know why. I do believe that Jesus is a Muslim, but I didn't prepare for this topic. What, what do you have to prepare for? Um, it's uh, okay. So as a Muslim, I follow the teachings of Muhammad because peace be and peace and blessings be upon him. Mm -hmm. And I don't follow the, the, the words and following of Jesus Christ, uh, peace and blessings be upon him. Because uh, the people that came after Jesus Christ corrupted the, in in my views, corrupted the corrupted his Bible. message. Yes. So, uh, yeah, I understand that. What does that have to do with you believing that he's a Muslim? Uh, I believe that he was uh, Muhammad. Uh, Muhammad in Arabic means um, that he surrenders to God. How do you know that? Because I know for a fact that God's every, um, however he, however many years sends prophets to de to deliver the message to follow the straight path. I'm pretty sure I want to be on the straight path. You want to be on the straight path. But how do you so, know that Jesus followed the same God that you know that you believe in? Because it mentions in the in the it mentions it in the Quran. Yeah, but the Quran came 600 years after him. It's just a claim. How do you know historically that the, what the Quran is saying about Jesus is true? Because I believe that the Quran is the word of God, and I believe that God ha, uh, does not right. take up space nor time, and He knows everything that happened from the start till the end. But that's not telling that's not telling me how you know this. You're telling me what you believe, which is fine. You can believe whatever you want, but you don't you don't know this for a fact that Jesus believed in the same God that is found in the Quran. You don't know that for sure. You believe it, uh, but I you don't know, know it. I know, I, 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 no, I know that for sure because okay. uh, a contingency for you to be Christian, a contingency for me to be Muslim is for us to have faith and believe faith, well, anything. That see, there it is again. You have, you have this type of faith that is blind, a blind faith that Jesus was a Muslim because your books, because your book says so. That's not, it's not telling me how you know this. You know what I'm saying? I need to. How do you know yeah, and, and for a fact we're, we're, that Jesus was a Muslim? We're having a, we're we're having now right now we're having a circular argument of you tr uh, may, tr trying to make me prove to you that Jesus was. Yeah, how's that? How's that? How's that circular? Because you you're trying to tell me to, you're trying to tell me to prove that Jesus was a Muslim, and I told you that no, I it wasn't. Didn't. I don't believe Jesus was a Muslim. Yeah, you're telling you're you're telling me to prove in my views that Jesus was a Muslim because I believe that, and I told you well, I didn't. Well, well yeah, that's a topic. That, but I'm that, I'm, that, I'm more than willing to have. Uh, that's a historical. A it's a historical claim that you're making on a person who existed 600 years before your book. 
So you, when you're saying Jesus was this, you're making a historical claim that Jesus historically believed in the same God and same values that you as a Muslim believe I didn't say in. same values. I said same God. Okay. So wouldn't yeah. that mean same values or no? Does uh, God no, do, I believe. So God's no, values changes? Every, no, every prophet comes and God puts new uh, covenants. Like yeah, but, for instance, yeah, but does a value change? Came once out, can, can, can I continue my, or I, do you want to go? No, no, I know, I know what you're saying, but do you believe mm -hmm. that within these covenants, uh, that God's values change? Uh, can you? Uh, sorry, my English is my second language. So, can you identify? Give me the definition of values. So, basically, uh, uh, values are what what God holds in as important and good. Okay. Um, what God knows best, I'm pretty sure we both of us, uh, both mm -hmm. of us agree on that. And God knows like every single circumstance, every single people are born in different generations mm -hmm. and he knows best what values to instill okay. in these, this generation. I got you. So if I were to say Jesus was not a Muslim, how would you prove me wrong? Because you don't, you obviously believe the opposite. How would you demonstrate that I am incorrect about that statement, about that belief? Um, um, I don't claim to be a person of, uh, of knowledge in, in Islam, but I'm willing to have a, a person whose expertise is, is uh, theology and to discuss to you about this, but I'm, I'm mo more than willing to have like a, a, an argument. Like, okay, now you asked me something. May I ask you something or do you you're, want to stick to topic? It's you, your live stream. Yeah, I'd like to stick to my topic. Are you so you're saying that you're not a you're not able to dive into the theology of your religion, but you wanna like you wanna argue no, it's, argue it's, something it's, else? It's, it's not no no, it's not it's not uh, that I'm not able to. It's that I believe that Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, is not he was a prophet once upon a time, but I'm obligated to follow Muhammad. I'm not obligated to what uh, Jesus followed. So I'm not expertise in what Jesus taught. Yeah, but so that that I understand that. So then mm -hmm. if you're an ex if you're not an expertise in what Jesus taught, how do you know that Jesus taught Islam if you don't know what he taught? How do okay, can you repeat the question? How do you know? that Jesus taught Islam when you don't know what he taught. Okay. So I, again, from it will, uh, it will be a circular discussion because I will mention stuff from the Quran and you don't believe in the Quran. Do you, do you believe it's, in my Quran? It's, it's, it's not that I, I believe in the original before it got corrupted, but it's, it's not whether or not I believe in your Quran. It's if what your Quran, if what your Quran is saying, claiming, has a basis to it. Does it have evidence for what it's saying? And that's what I'm challenging. If I say Jesus doesn't, Jesus was not a Muslim because we have the teachings of Jesus and Jesus never taught Islam. Uh, mm. But how would you, if you don't know what Jesus taught, how can you say I'm wrong about that? Well, uh, did Jesus speak Arabic, which is the language of the Quran? Did he speak Arabic? Yeah. You tell me, did he speak Arabic? No, he did not. How do you know? Uh, during Jesus' time, I don't know if even Arabic existed during that time. How, how do you I, know? How do you know? If he, how do you know he didn't speak Arabic? Uh, I know for a fact because he came upon people whose whom, whose language uh was not arabic it was hebrew how do you how do you know that in the original first bible what was it written by have you ever read their original first bible you're the christian you tell me no no, no. you 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 made a claim my friend you made a claim that jesus yeah. didn't speak arabic you know this because he's he went to a people that spoke hebrew uh and i think you said aramaic and and i asked you how you know that you said because in the first original bible have you read the first original Bible to confirm that Jesus spoke Aramaic and I Hebrew? I have not read. I have okay. not read the original first Bible because it's okay. in Hebrew, and I'm not. I, I don't wait, speak wait. Hebrew. Again, 
how do you know that the first original Bible was in Hebrew? Uh, because that's what I got taught uh, in school. Okay, so you never seen it yourself. You just got told this. You were never able to check yourself. Uh, that's correct. Okay, so that's just hearsay. How do you know that Jesus went to a people that spoke Hebrew and Aramaic? How do I know that Jesus spoke? Uh, because that, that's the well-known amongst the mainstream. You're right. You know what where, I, mean? I, yeah. I I agree with you that it's well known. It's yeah. a it's a common knowledge thing. Where where does yeah. this come from? Is my question. How do people know this? It's just historical facts. Anybody who reads about history or yeah, know, where, uh, where are they reading this from? Yes, it is a historical fact, but it's based off something. Historical facts are based off sources. What is the source yeah. that they use that tells them that Jesus lived in a time and went to a people? that spoke Hebrew and Aramaic. What source are they using? Uh, you tell me. They're using- We that. have a saying, we, we have a saying in, in Islam, mm -hmm. who, uh, can I say it in Arabic? I, I wouldn't understand it in English. Yeah, I'll translate it. Okay, go ahead. Man, man qala la alam who, who says that they don't know, he, he did the right thing, so I, I don't agree. know. Can can you in, uh, into, uh, intellectually enlighten me on this knowledge? If you if you genuinely say if you genuinely don't know, I would love to. If you genuinely don't know, I genuinely don't know. Okay. Well, yeah. So the source that they're getting this from is the New Testament. The New mm -hmm. te the New Testament is what places Jesus in the first century, and mm -hmm. places the Aramaic language in Jesus's time, and has Jesus actually speaking Aramaic and Hebrew. It's the New Testament. So these, um, these historical facts that it is common knowledge comes from my Bible. The same Bible you say is corrupted. Yeah. And this New Testament, when, when was it written and who was it written by? I As, really don't know. It was written in the first century, a few years after Jesus, a few years, about, mm -hmm. about 20, 20, 40, 50 years, uh, depending on the account. But uh, the, the New Testament was written within the first century. So after Jesus ascended, um, mm -hmm. after the, the disciples and apostles went around the world preaching and then some of them were getting unalived, they began to write down their traditions, the, the gospel and the teachings of Jesus um, because people were dying off. <clears throat> so this is these are first century documents. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a first century copy. It didn't survive that long, but we have early second century mm -hmm. copies and third and fourth and so on and so forth. No, yeah, I understand. And it was written by the, uh, uh, sorry if I said this wrong, apostles and-, and Yeah, mm -hmm. the disciples are, or for a term that you may understand, like the Sahaba of Jesus, the companions. Okay, oh, okay. And are the Sahaba infallible? Uh, when, they're, they don't make when, when they are conveying the message of the gospel, they are infallible. Because- and that's a contingency. Be, well, be, it's because they are inspired by God when they're doing it. And Jesus, and in your eyes, Jesus is God, right? Yes. Okay, I've heard so many debates and um, and stuff like that. I'm interested in in that sort of stuff. I've in the mainstream. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure you've heard this. I'm. I just want to see the Christian answer to these these questions. I, I can. Um, I, I'll. I'll be happy to give you like the answers mm -hmm. to the questions of the deity of Christ. But first I'd like for us to finish this out a little bit first, because I want you mm -hmm. to, I want you to see how, even as a Muslim, a non-Christian, mm -hmm. these common facts and things that you know about Jesus comes from my Bible. You, you see how, yeah. you see how that's important. I agree with you. I 100% agree with you. I don't uh, disregard uh, that some stuff in the Bible are true. We believe that a Bible came. We believe that the, a Torah came. But yeah. do I believe in every single word of it? No. And well, yeah. and and me and, and a contingency for you to abide by your faith mm -hmm. and for me to abide by my faith is for God's word to be perfect one hundred percent to the bit. Well, so here, here's my thing. How can you trust? How can you trust the Bible to tell you about the language that Jesus spoke, where he preached the people he visited 
but you can't trust it in telling you what he taught and believed? That is a very good question. In order for me to to uh, to fact check the New Testament, I go to the Quran because that's my holy book. Okay, so fact check this. Yeah. Okay, if, okay, so fact check if, this. Fact check this. Where yeah. does the where does the Quran fact check that Jesus spoke Hebrew and Aramaic? Uh, okay, this is, I, I feel like, and correct me if I'm wrong, does it really matter what language Jesus spoke in? It does. It Why does it matter? Because once you solidify the language that Jesus spoke and the source yeah. that you're getting it from, you have just yeah. authenticated the source. So when you, when you say that Jesus spoke Hebrew and Aramaic as a historical fact, then you have just authenticated the Bible. I, I, yeah, I've authenticated the Bible in this certain point, not in every point. Well, again, this 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 leads back to the question I just asked then. How could you trust the Bible for giving you the accurate historical information about Jesus's language, how, mm -hmm. what people he went to, and things of this nature, but mm -hmm. you can't trust when it tells you what he used to say I've already answered this question and I can answer it again. If whatever is in the New Testament matches with my Quran, okay. I will take, take right. Right. This, right. Yeah. So, and this, uh, so, so this, and is, this, this, this is, is the point, bro. This is the point because you said that, which is why I said what I said to you. Where does your Quran confirm that Jesus spoke Aramaic and Hebrew so that you can trust what the New Testament says? The Quran does not specifically mention. So then, about, so then, why do you trust that the the Bible is right when he spoke Hebrew and it, Aramaic? It, it, it doesn't. It doesn't specifically say that, but it says uh, uh, where it got um, where Jesus was. No, it doesn't. Uh, who, who, uh, on on what people Jesus was sent to? To to and the people of it, to people, the people of Israel. Where were they? Yeah. Where were they? And what time was this? What century was this? Yeah. This is this is what the Quran says, and then from the no, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, the Quran, hadith, the, yeah. Hold on, yeah, from yeah, the, hadith, the hadith doesn't. You can, you the, can derive, the, derive so much, the, so much the, information. Yeah, I know the hadith doesn't tell mm -hmm. you nothing either. The hadith doesn't tell no. you anything about Jesus's whereabouts. Neither the Quran nor the hadith tell you about Jesus's whereabouts or the time that he lived in. I, yeah, because again, again, I told uh, it, it's. I love Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, but I'm not obligated to follow his message. That's, that's, that, has nothing, that, has, that has nothing to do with what I just said. That, you, that does have nothing to do with it. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Okay, so why yeah, please, it relevant, please, if, please okay, address what I why said. Why is it relevant for me to, to know exactly the language? I already told you again. I already told you again. The fact that you pull from the New Testament to tell you what language Jesus spoke you and where Jesus was and what time frame he lived, mm. you just authenticated the Bible. So you can't reject the I Bible. Did not, I did not authenticate the whole, I said, I don't disregard the whole Bible. You can't, you can't choose which parts you want to believe in and which parts it doesn't. Yes, I, where, where, I so, can, so here, so, I can so here we, I can okay, so here we I are. Can, okay, but stop. Here we is, are. Is again. God's word. Excuse me. Here we are again with you saying, we're just, you're just right back at the circle. Whatever the Quran agrees with, that's what you can take from the New Testament. So show me where the Quran agrees that Jesus spoke Aramaic. Because you're taking that from the New Testament. Show me where the Quran agrees with that. I told you what the Quran says about Jesus. It says about the people. Where? Where were they? Was sent. Where were they? He was sent to the people of Israel. Where were they? There were, uh, if I'm not, if I'm not wrong, they were, I think, close to Palestine in that where, area. Where does the Quran tell you that? Uh, I can pull it up. Okay, cool. So they, should, so show me where it says that when Jesus went there, they were in Palestine. It, it doesn't. They say that specifically. That's not how God, God's word. Uh, that's tough. Works. That's tough because you're saying that's that it's there in the Quran.
Okay, so do you believe that Jesus is God? It's not correct? about what I believe. It's not about what I believe. It's about what you can prove about what your Quran says and about yeah, what you're saying. It's not about what I believe. Yeah, but this is a discussion. I would like to make the discussion. Uh, I don't think you know how this. Books. I don't think you know how this goes. A discussion is based off of a yeah, topic. This is my first time in this live yeah, stream. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we, when I have a topic, we both engage on this topic. I let you talk. I let you make your points on this topic, and we engage back and forth as a cross examination. Yeah. This is how this goes. So again, where does your Quran tell you that Jesus went to Palestine? Again, I will counter, counter, counter that, and I know I'm that what, well, and I know that I'm going off topic right now. I will counter that by saying that: Do you believe that Jesus is God? Why are you refusing to answer this question? Hey, Mike, are you a Muslim? Sorry, are you a Muslim? Am I what? Are you a Muslim? No, I'm a Christian. Okay, so this is only for Muslims, my friend. <clears throat> Let me see here. Do you believe that Jesus is God? Question. Okay, I'll just talk to myself then. It's, uh, thanks for coming, man. You uh, you forfeited uh, the topic. You don't want to have the discussion, so you forfeited my question also. Thank All right, good job. Thank you. Guys can't even answer simple questions, and every time that you guys try to do this, you try to is Jesus God your way out of this. You're not about to is Jesus God your way out of this. Not with me. You may be able to do that with some other Christians. You may be able to do that with some other people who lack discipline and don't like to stick with subjects that they put up. But with me, you're not going to, is Jesus God your way out of this? It's not happening. It's not happening at all. What's up? Yeah, I just wanted, guys, well, I just wanted to do a quick live stream. I was up, up late. <clears throat> What going over some videos and some ideas with my friends, and it got me in the mood. It got me in the mood. I don't care what they do, they can clip whatever they want. Okay. How you doing, Mercy? I'm good. Uh, I know you said no Christians requesting. I'm a Christian. I just want to say I appreciate what you do because you inspire me a lot and you taught me kind of how to do like apologetics versus Muslims. So just want to encourage you, man. Keep it up. Glory to God. Thank you. All glory to God, brother. Thank you so much for that. Amen. I appreciate All right, it. All right. Take care of yourself. All right. I love that. I love that. All glory to God. Someone said, what's wrong with Avery's voice? Uh, maybe it's two in the morning. Maybe that might be it. It is two in the morning. Man, oh man. Hey guys, Muslims are so mad that I'm live right now. Exactly one million subscribers with no content. They don't know my phobia. I have a really, really bad phobia, guys. I have a phobia of changing topics when one topic is not completed. I have a really bad phobia. It really, 
Makes my skin crawl just thinking about it. It really makes my skin crawl just imagining going to another subject without the current subject concluding. Just Michael Rivera says, I was actually just watching some of your live streams from one year, two years ago, man. It is crazy how far this ministry has come. God bless you, brother. Let's keep this ministry growing by everyone hitting that like button. Thank you so much, Michael. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah, we've come a long way, man. You can see the quality change. You can see, you know, didn't have the lights, didn't have the wallpaper, didn't have the sign, didn't have nothing. Didn't have anything. Jordan, welcome back, man. Jordan says, God bless, brother. Whenever you end up doing the Old Testament Trinity stream, can you post an Instagram story? Because YouTube hates to send notifications. Yeah, matter of fact, I will. Yeah, I'll remember to do to post an Instagram story. I'll let you know. Definitely. Someone said I sound ill. Am I okay? I'm definitely fine. It's just 2 a.m. in the morning. When it's 2 in the morning or 1 in the morning, whatever it is, 1.30 in the morning, 2 in the morning, your voice tends to deepen a little bit, gets a little cracky. You can get your podcast voice going on. You know, get your little, get your little sexy voice on. Fear the ladies. Fear God. Fear the ladies. Fear God. <laughs> Hello. Hello there. Um what's up? How you doing? Yes, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, doing good. Good, good, good. Are you a Muslim? Uh, yes. Okay, okay. Welcome to the panel, man. Would you like to try to win $2,200? No, you will destroy me, but I will try. Okay, you can try. You can try your best, man. Yeah, you. I'm be not a good debater, you know. I just want to speak with you, you know. That's okay. You don't have to be a good debater. We just talk here. Okay. We just talk and we use our brains. We think. And we be I know, and we stay honest. You know, if we're presented with the truth, we we submit to the truth. You agree? Okay, yeah. Good, good, good. So as a Muslim, you believe that Jesus is a Muslim. Yes. Why? Because um, in the Bible says that he prayed with the head on the ground mm. and he fasted, he didn't eat pig. Mm -hmm. And that's all the things that Muslim did. Okay. So let me, um, let's, let's break this down then. Okay, so let's go one by one. Jesus prayed and specifically he fell down when he prayed, right? That's what you're referring to. Yeah. Um, let me ask you this. If I fall down when I pray, if I prostrate myself when I pray, but what I'm praying to is a statue, am I a Muslim? Mm -hmm. I am? I don't know, bro. You don't know? Yeah, bro. Uh, wait, hold on. I didn't, I didn't hear Wait, you. wait. I didn't, I didn't understand the question. Wait, what? Okay, okay I'll, I'll ask it again. No worries. If I bow down when I pray, if I fall down when I pray like Jesus did. Yeah. And like Muslims do. But mm -hmm. I'm bowing to a statue. And I'm praying to a uh -huh. statue. Am I a Muslim? No. Why not? Because you don't pray at a statue. Why not though? Like I believe that that's God. Is the statue not God? What? We don't pray on a statue. What do you pray to? To God. Okay. So what is that? Because I'm saying that the statute is God. So what 
you're saying, no, that's not God. So tell me, what is, when you say God, what do you mean by God? Uh, it's his, um, no statue, it's, it's the creator, it's no human, you know? Mm -hmm. It's out of this world. Okay, okay, I understand. Is is he a father? Is he a father? Yeah. Father. Uh, is he no? The, okay, no. All right, got you. So he's not a father. He's not a creation. He's not a statue. Okay, good. Nice, nice. So we know. So now I know what you mean by God when you say you're a Muslim and you pray to God on the floor. So now when we yes. look at when we look at Jesus in the Bible, when he prayed, when he fell on his face and he prayed, we have to see who he prayed to because it matters who he prayed to, right? Yes. Okay. So the verse says this. It says, and going a little further, Jesus fell down on his face and prayed saying, Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me, but not my will, let your will be done. So Jesus is praying to his father. So is that the same God oh. that you're talking about? All right. No. Okay, I can understand it now, okay. Mm -hmm. so, by, so by that verse, if we're just looking at that, he's not, he's not a Muslim, right? By that verse. Maybe he prayed to God because well, yeah, he did pray to he prayed to God, but he says that God is his father. Is Allah the father of Jesus? Uh, no, very good. So then that means that he's not a Muslim, right? Because he says that God is his father. If Allah is not the father of Jesus, then he's not praying to the same God that you're talking about. It's he's not a Muslim, okay, but. Then why did he fast and didn't eat pig? Oh, well, he followed the law of Moses. That's why he didn't eat pig. Um, but also he fasted for 40 days without food or water. Do Muslims, when they fast, do they fast without food or water? Yes, they, they only eat and drink when the sun goes down. Yeah. So no food and water. Well, well, no. Like Forty days now. It was, I think only thirty. Gotcha. So you guys do not fast like Jesus did. Jesus fasted forty straight days with no food and water. You Muslims, you guys fast for thirty days, and in the days that you do fast, you break your fast that same day. So you guys do mm. not. You don't fast like Jesus did. Oh, okay. Makes sense? Yeah, it makes sense now. Mm -hmm. So if we look at how Jesus practiced his religion and we see what Jesus believed, it shows us that he actually was not a Muslim. He was very different than a Muslim. Mm -hmm. Which means that if Jesus is teaching that God is his father and he's the Messiah, we have to follow what the Messiah says, right? Yeah. So then that means that whoever says that Jesus, the Messiah, whoever says that he's not the son of God, that that is a false prophet and a liar. Because Jesus, who is the Messiah, said that God is his father, that he's the son of God. Damn, bro, cooked me, what? <laughs> it's not about cooking it's about learning and getting the truth that's all it's about um do you fast like jesus or christian do uh some people do i i personally don't i'm not that great jesus is a lot stronger than i am i can't go 40 days with no food and water i one time okay. one, one time i did seven but we're not, we're not obligated to fast like Jesus fasted in our religion, but we do fast. Mm -hmm. We do fast out at our personal, you know, conviction, like whatever we feel, whatever we feel led or guided by God to do, we fast. Um, you know, so we have different oh, kinds okay. of fast too in Christianity. 
and uh, there is one thing I don't uh, understand when in Aramaic I don't know how to pronounce it not mm -hmm. that good in English yeah you said um, it right yeah okay so Aramaic Jesus spoke Aramaic right yes and when he said God it was Allah yeah no it was Elaha Elaha. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if the Bible uh, is written by Ar Aramaic and you done so much wrong in translations in the Bible, why don't you uh, like do? Why don't you like do um, a translation? Uh, not translation and only Aramaic, Aramaic, because you don't so much things wrong well number one the bible is not written in aramaic there's some aramaic in there but it was not written in aramaic like the gospel it's written in greek koine greek why was it written in greek because that was the you know most common tongue of the of the empire of the land so if you want to get your message out right to the rest of the world you want to write it in a met in a language that most people understand which at the time was greek but it does have some aramaic in there like it has jesus speaking aramaic um calling god actually not just elaha but abba abba in aramaic means father so we'd always call God, Abba, Father, always. Oh, okay, but uh, if you done so much um, translation wrong, why is why do you still believe in it? There are no trans. There, there are no. There are no. Yeah. It's not. We don't have wrong translation. Every we have. Why do you then have, have New way. Testament and the Old Testament? The so the Old Testament is just the writings of the Torah and the old prophets before Jesus. That's what the Old Testament is. It's all about the old covenant. Oh, so Old Testament is before Jesus. Yes, yes. And the New Testament is, you know, after Jesus, it's the gospel, the writings of the Sahaba, the companions um, of Jesus and so forth. But didn't Jesus bring the message that uh, the God was in the world and all that? He he brought the message, but he 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 himself didn't write it. So he had his disciples, his his Sahaba, his companions. They wrote it. No, I mean before, like Jesus was in the world, and you done a Bible. Say that again. Before you said before Jesus, there was an Old Testament, that Bible. Oh, before, who can it be? Before he was born. Yeah. You said it. Yeah, before he was born on earth. So there was Christianity before Jesus? Not Christianity per se, but people that believed in the coming of the Messiah, like the prophets. Like, for example, you believe that Moses came before Jesus, right? And Abraham and all the other prophets. You believe they came before Jesus, right? Uh-huh. Yes, that's yeah, what, right. Yeah, so that's, that's all the Old Testament. The Old Testament contains the stories of Abraham, Moses, you know, all of, all of those other prophets that came before Jesus. That's what the Old Testament contains. Oh, okay. Then have a good day, brother. You too. Hope you come back one day. All right. It's not all about uh, cooking or anything like that. It's, we can, you know, we can have a good time. We can have a good time, you know, just, uh, I kinda wanna get rid of this. We can have a good time together, you know. Mm. 
whatever. We'll leave it like that. We can have a good time, you know, just learning and getting knowledge and things of this nature. We can have a good time doing that. You know, I know that he was a young one, but I'm pretty sure he never, obviously has never had a conversation with a Christian, you know, to where he's getting knowledge like that before. So that's important. Now he knows. Until you get to Hachim. Now he knows, you know, now he's he learned something. And hopefully God will grow that seed and water it. Gospel of Barabbas. You mean Barnabas, Michael? All right, let's see who's next. Hello. How you doing? Are you a Muslim? Yep. Welcome to the stage, man. You trying to win this money or what? Nah, I'm not trying to win the money, you know. You're not I'm trying just... to win this money, man. But I'm gonna answer your question. All right, all right, all right. Well, if you do win and you don't want to keep the money, I can give it to someone that you care about. Is that okay? Nah, we're good. Okay. All right, no problem. I don't mind keeping money. All right. So, how would you prove to me that Jesus was a Muslim? Jesus? I want to ask you something. Sure. You got you to gotta prove it to me. That... Let me tell you. Let me ask you something. Who, who created the earth? Well, what does that have to do with the question? I just want to ask you. Yeah, asking question. Who created the earth? Did you hear what I what I said? My phobia was because you've what? been you've been here for a little while. Did you hear what I said? My yeah. phobia was. Nah. My phobia is changing topics when a current topic is unfinished. So we're on a particular topic about Jesus being a Muslim and you're trying to change the topic to who created the heavens and the earth. That really like, it really messes with me, you know? Jesus is Muslim, if I tell you. Okay. How would you prove that? Because he's a, he's a prophet. If if Muhammad was prophet and he believes in the same God that Jesus believed believes in, uh, so that means if Muhammad, if I don't know how to explain, it, but yeah, I, 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 I see what you're saying. If Muhammad is a Muslim, and Muhammad believed in the same God that Jesus believed in, so therefore Jesus would also be a Muslim. Is that basically what you tried to say? Yep. Okay. All right, say. I'm following you. Okay, so. How can you uh, how can you show me what God Jesus believed in? What God? Yeah, can you prove to me that Jesus believed in the same God that Moses did? We don't, but we don't know how God looks like. Nobody knows how God looks like. That's fine. Can you show? Yeah. Can you? That's not my question. Can you show me that Muhammad? believed in the same God that Jesus believed in. Because he was he was he was a prophet too. So, he sent he got sent by God. God sent him. What did to, what did, what did Jesus teach about God? You said what can you say that again? What did Jesus teach about God? Well, listen, Bill. Jesus. First of all, Jesus was. I don't know how to explain it, brother. But all I got to say is it was all believing in the same God. God sent them. Okay. Let me give them a message. Let me let me try. People, you know, 
Can I try to like help out a little bit? Yeah. So when I ask, what did Jesus teach about God? When I go to the gospel, I can see what Jesus taught about God. And he taught that God was his father who sent him. Did Muhammad believe this, that Allah was the father of Jesus? Allah was the father of Jesus? Yeah, did Muhammad believe that? No. Okay. So Muhammad is contradicting Jesus. They didn't believe in the same God. What does that have to do with that? It would mean that if Muhammad is a Muslim, the God that he believes in is different than the God that Jesus believes in, which would mean Jesus is not a Muslim. There's only one God, bro. I know. That so, all the prophets believe in. I know. So that would mean that somebody has a false God. Either Muhammad has a false God or Jesus and the rest of the prophets have a false God. Who do you think it is? I don't think nobody has a false. Well, it's got to be somebody because Jesus and says then, Jesus says that God is his father. Muhammad says, no, God is not a father of Jesus or anyone. So who's right? I'm so confused with Christian people, bro. Sometimes they say God is, Jesus is God. And sometimes they say Jesus is, is the son of God. Well, that can be cleared up like, in time. Confusing. That could be cleared up in due time. But first, well, we got to solidify that Jesus is not a Muslim. And then we can go into explaining the Christian doctrine. Fair enough. Tell me how. Tell me how he not Muslim. I like, just. Ex like, I just did. Like you know, like tell me that. I, I just did. And you got to tell me that if Jesus. I do. Is how I, Jesus I, is Christian. He's well. He's not a Christian. He's he's start, He's the he's the he's the starter and foundation of Christianity. He himself is not Christian. To be a Christian means to be a Christ follower. You know, Christ is the starter. He doesn't follow himself. You know, he started the religion. So do you guys believe in Jesus as a God or? Of course. Or Jesus is our Lord. He's God, creator of heaven and the earth. But that my belief on that doesn't mean anything right now. Right now, we're just trying to solidify that when Jesus was here on earth preaching and teaching, he was showing us teaching and preaching things that were against Islam. Like, for example, that God is his father. So you're saying Jesus is the creator of heaven and earth. Brother, why are you, why are you, and, igno uh, why are you ignoring listen, what I'm saying? Listen, just listen. No, no, no. Why are you ignoring what I'm saying? Can you please deal with what I just presented to you? I'm trying to say what you said. Bro. Yeah, say, say, deal with what I presented to you. Jesus taught that God was his father. Therefore, he's not a Muslim, right? <sighs> Jesus. You know his, like, you know what we call him? Like his actual name? You okay, bro? Listen, bro? You okay? Yeah, I'm good, but I'm just, you know, confused with, like... Okay, you're going to stay confused. You're going to stay confused, man. Next. Got to stay confused. Not able to follow Hello. the conversation. How you doing? Good. Good. Are you a Muslim? Alhamdulillah, yes. All right. Welcome. Would you like a chance to win this money? I mean, you're. I mean, I know why you're doing this, but why am I doing this? Well, you're trying to get attention with the. I already have Jesus was Muslim. I already have attention. Exactly, exactly. A bunch of a bunch of Christians. I'm agreeing are, with you. you. A bunch, a bunch you, of Christians are going. On. Hold on, just really quick. Yeah, here. I know. I'll answer a bunch your question, of so. a bunch of Christians are going around 
using this topic and using these arguments and yeah, but it's impossible. You're never going to tell just, us something just, that just, comes just, up just here. Just hold on, a, hold on a second. I'm talking. You're not. What you're not going to do is talk over me when I'm talking. So what we have here, yeah, I have successfully, by the grace and power of the Most High God and our Lord Jesus Christ, brought awareness and attention to this topic. And Christians who are laymen, Christians who are not true debaters, have been able to go on Muslim panels and destroy them on this topic, embarrass them, humiliate them, and expose them for this lie, this myth that Jesus is a Muslim. So I'll answer your question. Good. So what we well, have here is that you, you have a chance and, to do better. So go okay. ahead. Well, yeah. in Islam, we already believe that Jesus is a Muslim. So that's a belief in our religion. Did but I, we're not just saying it to get attention. That's actually what we believe. I know it's what you Second believe. Can you prove it? Yeah, you say prove Jesus was Muslim. Do yeah. you know the word, the exact definition of the word Muslim? You tell me. I'll go with whatever you say. Muslim is somebody who submits their will to God. That's what the word Muslim means. Okay. Islam means submission to God, and Muslim means the one who submits their will to God. Okay, I can work and with that. In okay. the Bible and in the Quran, mm -hmm. Jesus, peace be upon him, mm -hmm. submits his will to God. Okay, so we could by work. definition, he was a Muslim. Okay, I could, Whether I could work with that's that. That's in Christianity or Islam. I could work with that. So, a Muslim is one who submits their will to God. If I submit my will to a statue, am I a Muslim? No, because it's the God, not a statue. All right, so when you say God, what do you mean? Because when I submit my will to a statue, I'm calling it God, but you're saying that's not it. So, when you say Submit your will to God. What do you mean by God? Allah, God, and Islam. Give me some essential attributes of him. The one that knows everything. Okay. Something else? Yeah. Is he... The all-knowing, the all-wise, the all-rich, the all-merciful. Okay. What else do you want? Uh, is he a trinity? No. Okay. He's one God. Got you. One. If there was a trinity, mm. if if there was more than one God in that sense, then well, we that, would never have a universe to begin with. Or no worries. Because I, I got you. You don't you don't gotta you don't gotta break that down. There has to be a start. It's just a simple no. I got that. Yeah. So there has to be a start. So no, he's not a trinity. And the trinity no. is not three gods, but okay, he's not a trinity. Um is he a father in any sense? Does he have any children in I mean, any way? Of the universe, no. He's, God can't have kids, and he was never, nobody gave birth to him. Got he it. He will never give birth. Okay, gotcha. All right, beautiful. Okay, cool. So when you say a Muslim is one who submits their will to God, you mean mm -hmm. one who submits their will to God who is not a father in any sense, is not begotten himself, is not a trinity he's absolutely one and singular in his essence all by himself all wise all merciful all knowing and so on and so forth is that correct yes that's correct all right beautiful so now we have a foundation of what you mean by god so in order to be a muslim you have to submit to that concept of god in order to be a Muslim. no not to that concept of god to the to that god himself well yeah that's the concept of god that you've just described to me so yeah, and there's more to that. I'm not I, just I, I, I agree. One, four or five things. I, I know. You. I know. I know. I agree. I'm just saying that those are some important things that we were able to pick out. So, uh, if you were to, for example, submit to something that you say is not all knowing, then you're not submitting to the God you just described to me, right? It's a false God. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So if you submit to like a Trinity, for example, that's a false God. It's not the God of Islam, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So that's all I'm saying. So when you said that uh, you can go and yeah, like in the Quran and even in the Bible. So how can you show how can you show me that Jesus submitted to this God that you just described to me? In what book? Any book you want. I mean, in the Quran, it, it talks about him and his mother and everything. So you could find that easily in the Quran. All right, that's the claim. And in the Quran, that's, it says that's the claim I'm challenging. And God will ask 
Jesus peace be upon him. Mm -hmm. Did you tell them to worship you? And he will say no. Yeah. Okay. So you believe that this same uh, concept is taught in the Bible? No, the Bible's corrupt and you know that. But, I, knows that. but I heard you say that even in the Bible, you, Jesus is a Muslim. That's what you said. I said, even in the Bible, Jesus is a Muslim. Yes. If you bring me a clip of me saying that, I will convert to Christianity. Yeah, you said you can show that even in the Bible, and you said you said I you, said I can show you can that. Show I asked the, you, you which said, book. You said I you can show. You this book. is this is no, before this part, bro. You said you can show in the Quran and the Bible that Jesus submitted his will to God, and therefore is a Muslim. That's what you said yeah, out of Jesus, your mouth. I'm recording this live. Yeah, Jesus. And the, wait, do you think Jesus didn't submit his will to God? You have to show me that he submitted to the God you're talking about. To the God I'm talking about? Well, that's mm -hmm. just impossible, then. How? You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't answer your own question, and I can't answer the question you just asked. What are you? Me, what so. are you talking about? What? What? What do can you mean? You I can't prove, answer my own question. Can you prove that he didn't worship the same God that we're talking about in the Bible? Yeah. Can uh, you prove that there there's different gods in the Quran and did, the Bible? Did I? Well, yes, I can, but it's not for me to prove. You made the claim. Do I it. Can, I can easily. If you do prove that. it, then 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 I'll leave. Okay, sure. So, for example, that, there's a different God. Yes, absolutely. So, like for example, the God that you described, you said is not a father, right? An, an actual father? No. No. Is he a? I I asked you, is he no, a father? No, he's not a father. He has no kids. No, okay, he thank no you. Kids or wife. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. So Jesus says that God is his father. John 3, 16, he says, for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's a different God. Jesus says in Matthew yeah, chapter but it's 6. Yeah, not, not his actual father, though. That's the whoa, 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 wait, you, you know his mother whoa, is a virgin. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is, is, is Allah a father at all? Is he the father of Jesus in some sense? No. Okay, but at the then. same time, it doesn't matter then. You cannot. Yeah, but here's where I, where I was going to before you asked me the question. Mm. I was going to go here, but you asked me a question which you, kind of you told me to show you you told me to show you one place that shows that the God of the Bible is a different God in the Quran. Well, and that I doesn't show it. And I what do you because okay you, then what if okay you, you want to go there okay okay let's what, let's what let, did Jesus let, mean wait 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 what wait did Jesus mean by wait, father wait 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 hold on a second. Is Allah a father in any sense? Maybe, but not an actual. Did you did you just say that... did you just say maybe? No, you said in any sense. Yeah, in, in any actual sense. sense. No, no, because in any in sense. Is he a father in any sense? Any sense? Is yeah, there? He's a an... father of the universe. Show me in the Quran where know? it says he's the father of the universe. You just committed shirk and you just left Islam. No. Okay, show me in the Quran where no, it says like he's the father of the universe. No, like you said in any sense. I said, I yeah, said that before. Yeah, show, show me in the Quran. I meant he can never be an actual father. Show me of, in the Quran. Well, well, he's the actual father of the universe, you just said, so. No, you said in any sense. Like yeah, he's, he's the father the of the universe. Universe. Yeah, show no, me the that. the universe is his. Because you. Is he, is, the, is he the father of the universe or not? No, I said the universe is his. And in that sense, you said you that said he's sense, the father of the universe that came you out your mouth. In any sense, all of us, I got 900 people watching on YouTube that all heard you and they're laughing. We got everybody in the comment section on TikTok. They're laughing right now. You asked because me now you're sense, switching up yes. your words, bro. So I'll ask you again. Is Allah a father in any sense, any way, shape or form? Is Allah a father? Yes or no? No, he can't have kids and he can never marry somebody. Okay, he was good. Never given birth to. Got it. So he's not a father. I, I said that all the way in the beginning, actually. Well, no, you 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 switched up like four times. In now. the beginning, beginning, I said in the beginning, beginning, and he in the beginning, and he, beginning and he was beginning. never given given birth to. Okay. Yes. So all right. So now this is like, where we're at. Like four minutes ago. Okay. Now, all right. Now watch this, so that everybody were on the same page. Our friend here just said, no. Allah is not a father in any sense. So from here on out, we better not hear him backtrack and say, well, yes, Allah could be a father in this way or in this way. You said he's not a father in any sense. Boom. Now we can move on. 
So, since Allah is not a father in any sense, it doesn't matter what Jesus meant when he said that God is his father. Because your God that you described is not a father at all. No matter what Jesus meant, father, no matter what he meant by father, Allah is not that. So that's a different God. Yeah, because they're two different books. Exactly. It's <laughs> my point. Yeah, so you're going to talk about him because it's it's a whole different religion. And if you make it, I like agree. That. Because in the Quran, we don't believe it's a it's a trinity. You believe uh -huh. it's a trinity. Mm -hmm. and so, so this is my so point, bro. So, so good. So this is my point. You told me to prove to you that in my book, in the Bible, that it's a that Jesus taught a different God than what's taught in Islam. I just showed you it. And you said you'd, you'll leave. I don't want you to leave because I want you to continue this conversation. You seem like you could, you know, you can... Who said leave? Who said anything about You me? did. You said if you show me that, I'll leave. That's what you said. You still didn't show me that, though. <laughs> that it's a different God. Because your God... Our, my God and your God are both unseen. Are you okay? So, yes, I am okay. You literally out of just your own mouth. Just because you call him the father doesn't mean he's a different God from the but one you, God. But you admitted. Because just you, because we you, don't call him a father. You yourself admitted. You're not making any sense. You yourself admitted that yes, yeah. it's a different God because it's two different religions in two different books. So, all right. Let me, let me just clarify. Why, why do you keep switching Wait, up no. what you say? Let me understand. No, I didn't switch. So mm -hmm. you call him a father. And you no, I no, I don't, him, I don't call him. I don't call him a father. Okay. Jesus in your, did. In your religion, although in your I, religion. although I do, but Jesus called him a father. Well, actually, you you don't even have the original te Old Testament, so you don't. What even what, know what that got to do with anything about what Jesus said here? Did Jesus speak in the yeah, Old Testament or the was, New? In neither of them, he actually said that because you don't have the Aramaic version that Jesus. How spoke. do you know? How do you know Jesus spoke Aramaic? That's just a fact. Based on what? How do you know that? That's just a fact. It's Jesus a fact. Speak English. So facts are based on sources. Okay. Well, what the is... disciples spoke Hebrew. How so do you How do you know that? The one, the one how, that wrote how, the book. how do you know that? Because we have mass transmission. Mass. Ooh, what... I like that. I agree. We exactly. have mass transmission of what? What is the mass transmission that tells you that the disciples and Jesus spoke Aramaic? No, the disciples didn't speak Aramaic. Only you Jesus just did. said the disciples spoke Aramaic. I said the disciples spoke Hebrew. I, that's what okay. I said. Okay. How do you know that the disciples spoke Hebrew and that Jesus spoke Aramaic? Because that's what they wrote the Bible, uh, the Bible in that you have. Really? That was translated into English. The, no. What I, the New Testament was written in Greek, not Hebrew. What are you talking about? And then it was translated. But you don't have the original one. Not into one Hebrew. In Aramaic. So can you, you don't show have the original one? How do you know that the, that the disciples spoke Hebrew? And how do you know that Jesus spoke Aramaic? Because what we have is a Greek text, not a Hebrew text or an Aramaic text. Jesus spoke Aramaic. How do you know? How do you know he didn't? You, you made the claim. So what did Jesus speak then? No, no, no. No, no, no. I, 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 you said that Jesus spoke Aramaic. Where yeah, did. did you get that from? You, you, uh, there you go again. It's a fact. Where did you get this from? That's a fact that everyone knows. I don't, From I don't know where? what I'm talking about. From where? You know, facts have a source, right? They come from somewhere. Did he not speak Aramaic? I'm not saying anything. You made the claim that he did. How do you know? You told me what Jesus spoke. How so, do I'm wrong. you know? Okay, let's say I don't know. No, but you do what, know because you know. Jesus no, then? you do know because you I stated know. it as a fact. I said, let's say I There's don't know. There's no ex no. I'm not, I, said, I don't, let's I don't say do that. I don't know. That's my second. I want phobia. you to tell me. Now That's my second phobia. Spoke. My second phobia is letting y'all. Oh, we're still talking. Is letting y'all escape. Spoke. That's my second no. phobia. My we're second phobia is when a when a person tries to escape from the claim that they made. I don't let that happen. So either you continue and stay ten toes down on what you said. Or you just say, you know what, man? I misspoke. I'm a moron. Just say that. No, I'm not saying that. Okay, good. No, so stand I'll 10 toes down on what you said. It's a fact that Jesus spoke Aramaic. Where did you get that fact from? From reading. Reading what? 
I've known this for about six years. Good. Where did you get this from for six years ago? What did you read? I, I read it somewhere. I don't remember. I know. Where did you read it? Where? Where did you read it? I just told you. No, you didn't. <laughs> I just said I don't know. I remember where I read it. You don't know where you read it? I don't remember where I read it. I can tell you where you read it. Where did I read it? The New Testament. The Bible. The Bible is what tells you what language Jesus spoke. This, it's, this is why you know Jesus spoke Aramaic. Because the New Testament, the Bible. That so you, you just proved my point. So you did all of this for five minutes just to prove my point? Well, actually, I disproved your point. You said that we don't have Jesus's words because he spoke Aramaic. The only reason why you know that he spoke Aramaic is because my Bible, which you just rejected. So you just you just authentic you just authenticated my Bible while at the same time trying to reject it. How does that make sense? I said you don't have you didn't have the original. So then how do you know Jesus he spoke Aramaic then if I don't have the original? Yeah, because a lot of things were changed, edited, taken out. So how do you replaced? know that he spoke Aramaic if everything was changed? Because that was left in the Bible. That was left in the Bible? Yeah. How do you know that that wasn't changed? How do you know that someone didn't just just uh, change what language he really spoke and then just put him speaking Aramaic. Well, that was there the last time I saw it, so. Oh, well, everything was there the last time you saw it. <laughs> exactly, you guys have more updates than the iPhone. Okay, iOS. okay, good. So can you show me anything, any change? Can you show me any change to what, like, for example, John 3, 16, where Jesus says that God sent his only son into the world. Can you show me any version of John 3, 16 that doesn't say God sent his son into the world? I will I will never use a corrupt source. But you're saying it's corrupted. Can you show me that it's corrupted? Yeah, it is. Good. Corrupted. So show me that John 3:16, it doesn't Wait, show me a version. You, you believe that Do you believe that the Bible wasn't corrupted? I believe the Bible wasn't corrupted. So you believe the Bible wasn't changed by uh, humans? Un, un, unlike the unlike the original needs. Quran. Now, can you show Original me? Quran. Now, can you show me that John three sixteen was changed? I can't show you that. Then why are you saying that it was changed? Everyone's saying I'm running. I'm literally here, and I've never left. Then why are you saying? Thank you for being honest and saying that you can't show that. So then, it has been corrupted. So then, why and are you saying? That it's been changed and corrupted. If you can't show the that Bible it was. is corrupted, whether you like it or not, that's just a fact. Okay, thanks, man. Thanks for the clip today. <laughs> I'm only on for a little while longer, guys. I ain't, I ain't doing this all night, all all night or morning for y'all. I got to go to bed. But I just I just had to hop on because I was just in that mood, man. I was in the mood, but hey, yo, thank you for that clip, brother. Thank you for that clip. Thank you for that clip. I appreciate it. Thank you for that clip. Ah, servant of Islam. Welcome. Avery, how are you? I'm good. Good, beautiful. beautiful, beautiful. This time we won't be interrupted by a troll and a disrespectful person. Now we can have a real conversation. Yeah. But you need to ask a genuine question, bro. It's, I am asking a genuine question. How can you <laughs> No, prove? you're not. You don't think this is genuine? That Jesus was a Muslim? This is a genuine topic. Yeah. Well, here is the problem. Do you accept uh, do you accept the gospel of Barnabas? Nah. That's the problem. Do you accept the gospel of Barnabas? I don't accept any Bible, but I need to, to show you where you believe in. Do you? For me, I have the Quran. So it's just it was just simple, brother. Do you accept the gospel yeah, yeah, of Barnabas? I... Sorry? Do you accept the gospel of Barnabas? The gospel of of Barnabas confirms something that is not in the Bible. Do, so, and the Bible do you, says something. My brother, I'm asking a very, very simple. I do not mean to cut you off. 
forgive me, but I'm only asking yeah. a simple yes or no question. Do you accept the gospel of Barnabas? It's yes or no, brother. <laughs> I, 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 accept, I accept the Quran. So it's a no. I didn't see that. I didn't say that, but, but I know but you didn't say, say that. You can say, no, no, no. But you can say no, no. But you can say that the gospel. No, no. But you can say that the gospel of Barnabas uh, well, leads actually to the comment. No, no. It, it 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 leads actually to the commandment that is missing from the Bible. No worries. And actually, I'll ask you one. You, I'll ask you one last time, servant of Allah or Islam. Sorry, servant of Islam. I'll ask you one last time. Do you? Okay. Accept the gospel of Barnabas, yes or no? Yes. Beautiful. In the gospel of Barnabas, yeah. it says that Muhammad is the Messiah and Jesus is not the Messiah. So if you accept the gospel of Barnabas, then the Quran is false because it says Jesus is the Messiah. Why? <laughs> like I said, I accept I accept the gospel more than the Bible, but okay. I have the Quran. I have the Quran as a confirmation, and everything that uh, is in uh, the Quran if you is true. If not you, say uh, 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 it is okay. the truth. So if if everything in the Quran is true, then the gospel of Barnabas yeah. is false. Because it contradicts the Quran. Do you get it? Why? I'll say it again. No. In the Gospel of Barnabas. Say it again. I'll say it again. In the Quran, for example, in the Quran, who is the Messiah? Please, Avery, you, you are assuming you are assuming that the Bible and the and the gospel, you are you are assuming that the Bible and the gospel are not the same. No, I am but not. But they are I'm, already. I'm, I'm just same. making a simple connection, my friend. In the Quran, who is the Messiah? In the Quran, Isa al Masih ibn Maryam. Very it good. Says, it says clearly. Very good. In the Gospel of Barnabas, yeah. who is the Messiah? That's the. That's what I'm trying to say. The Quran is confirming. So okay, good. Is the confirming things. right? So the, so the, do you know what it means to confirm? Lies in the, uh, listen. To confirm, okay, but, to confirm means okay. to attest to the truth of a thing. It means that you're saying that it's true. Like if I confirm yeah. your message, I'm saying your message is true. So does the Quran confirm the gospel of Barnabas? The Quran, uh, the, the 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 Quran confirms uh, uh, that that prophet uh, Isa ibn Maryam is a prophet. That's what I, it confirms, okay, and my, actually, my, my that friend, you can find you can for, find for that in for some reason, but you can find that sir, in the in the gospel sir, of Barnabas, sir, sir, servant of Islam. I want you to know. Mm -hmm. I want you to know, brother, that um, I want to hear you. I do. I want to hear you, but unfortunately, yep. unfortunately, please hear me out as we communicate with each other. When I'm asking you very clear, straightforward questions, you're not answering what I'm asking you. You're saying something else. Okay, so we can. It, it stops us from having that ability to communicate when you do not engage with what i'm asking you okay but so, so Avery, I, I didn't Avery, I, I didn't 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 no, no, ask but be fair i didn't ask if yeah. the quran but be confirms fair. if jesus be is a prophet fair, Avery. does Avery, the quran Avery, confirm be fair, be the fair. quran i mean does the quran confirm the gospel of barnabas bro that's all just yes or no the, the quran bro i'm telling you that the quran that the Quran is is the 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 the, 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 the check actually of the all the scriptures not only not only the not only the gospel it doesn't Barnabas, say not that. only it the says, Bible also the you, Torah bro you you did that that's not I don't that no matter whatever does the Quran because you said yeah, that the Quran is a confirmation to confirm something means that that thing is true. 
Do you understand? Yeah, what the Quran is true. Yeah, I no, no, understand, no. but you no, don't no, no. understand, Avery. If the Quran, you are, if, you are if playing the, dumb. If you the Quran dumb, confirms no, something, no, 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 no. it says that that something is true. Why do you guys, okay, as Muslims, so. not know what basic words mean? Yeah, you do because you don't know. We are telling you okay. the Quran is confirming. The Quran is confirming that. The prophet. So is uh, that, is, that Jesus, is, uh, is Muhammad is the prophet? Is Muhammad That's the one. Messiah or is Jesus the Messiah? Is Muhammad the Messiah? According, okay. Or is Jesus okay. the Messiah? Okay. okay. According to the Quran, Jesus is the Messiah. That means that one of the thing that is written that in, means the, in, that in the, the in the, that's the Barnabas is wait, false. wait, please let me speak. Let me speak. I agree. Let me speak. If you want to have a nice conversation, let me speak. That means that the thing that we are talking about the, about the Messiah is false in the Gospel of uh, of Barnabas. But 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 also the Gospel of Barnabas proves that Jesus is only prophet, and that can be found in the Quran. So the Gospel of Barnabas is not true, and the Bible is not true because there are things that in the Bible can be confirmed, <laughs> and there are things in the Gospel that can be improved. So no, 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 our I, criteria, I, I, I heard you. I heard, criteria, I heard enough. I heard enough. No, no. So you our said, criteria, you said whatever whatever agrees with the Quran. The Quran. Yeah, whatever agrees with the Quran is true. Whatever doesn't agree with the Quran is false. No. Is that correct? Exactly. Yes, Got it. that is exactly All right. true. All right. Now here's my. I'm I'm switching it now. Whatever agrees with the Bible okay, so yes. is whatever agrees with the Bible is true. Whatever doesn't agree with the Bible is not true. Does that sound reasonable to you? Exactly. Yes. Uh, but you need to find. You need to check the gospel. Barnabas, you need to take the gospel of Barnabas also with you because nope. that is also you wanna, nope. uh, a source. No, nope. you want to know? No, to be checked. No, nope. you want to know why? Because it disagrees. Why not? With the, because why not? it disagrees with the why Bible. Not? Whatever Why? disagrees with because the Bible, a hey, servant of Islam, listen, I'm doing the same thing that you just did. Whatever disagrees no. with the Bible is false. Whatever agrees with the Bible is true. Where do we go from here? Avery, you, Where do we go from here? You, you are not doing, We're stuck in the where middle you are of not nowhere, doing what I'm doing. close to home. But you are not doing what I'm... I can hear your voice so no, clear. You are not doing, Tell you are not doing what I'm doing. You are. <laughs> you are not doing what I'm doing. I'm taking information out of the Gospel of Barnabas, and I'm taking information of, from the Torah, of, uh, from the from the Bible. But you are taking only from the Bible. That's hey, the problem. A hey, 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 servant of Allah, uh, servant of Islam. Thank you for coming, bro. Thank you. We're not getting anywhere. Bye. Goodbye, bro. Oh man, we're running out of people. Whatever agrees with the Bible is false. I mean, it's true. Whatever agrees with the Bible is true. Hold on a second, Shweb. Walaikum salam. Whatever disagrees with the Bible is false, and therefore that is my reasoning. The Quran is false. Gospel of Barnabas is false, and any other Gnostic writing is false because it disagrees with the Bible. Looks like I'm perfectly good to do that. I'm perfectly right within my reason. And with that standard and criteria, thanks to Servant of Islam. All right, Shuey, would you like to give a shot to the topic here? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Prove to me that Jesus was a Muslim. When you are off the app, I cannot hear you. Your beard is getting a little too long. Say that again. Meaning of a Muslim, the Arabic term for Muslim. Bro, what's wrong with him calling me right now, man? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello. Yeah, sorry, I got, I got a phone call. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Okay, yeah, I can hear you. All right, perfect. Go ahead, I'm listening. The Arabic term for Muslim. I'd love to continue from where that my other brother stopped. Yeah, a Muslim is one who submits his or her will to God. Do you accept that? Um, what God are you talking about? 
The God, God of the world, the one who created the world, the one who sends prophets and messengers. Is he a father? He can be a father in a sense, yeah. Can you show me that in the Quran that he's a father in a sense? I don't have to. I don't have to. Yeah, you do. Or else you'll be innovating and, I don't crea and creating a doctrine that doesn't exist in your religion. Can you show me this, please? No, no, no. I'm coming, please. I'm coming. I know, I know. You said something, so you should be coming to the answer. I'm trying to keep you from commit from bidda, from innovation. You can't make up your own Islam as you guys go. Bidda. 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 You should be on the wall. You should be on the wall. Yeah. Can you agree with me that a father can be used metaphorically to describe someone who's a founder, protector, or protector? Can you show me that Allah is a father metaphorically? Yes. All right, show me in the Quran. Not in the Quran, but he is. He says what he is, and if you can bring any other term to merge that, yeah, he is in what sense. I'm confused. Term. You're saying that Allah is a father metaphorically, yet you do not have a Quran verse to back yourself up? When he says something in the Quran and anything I say go in line with what he said, it doesn't have to be from the Quran. Wait, 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 wait. Let's say that one more time. Yeah. Anything Allah says in the Quran, yeah? And anything I, sells, I, says, I say elsewhere, which is not from the Quran or from the Hadith, goes in line with it. You can't take it or throw it, throw, um, it away because it's not from the Quran. Okay, good. Okay, so let me just make sure I understand what you're saying. So if yeah. Allah says something about himself in the Quran, yeah. um, and then something outside of the Quran lines up with yeah. what Allah said in the Quran, then it could be true. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. So where in the Quran... Does Allah say he's a father? He doesn't say it in anywhere. No, um, he doesn't say it anywhere in the Quran. Got it. So if any, uh, if anywhere outside of the Quran, it says that Allah is a father, then that would be false, right? No, not, not literally a father. Describes him to be a father. Yeah. So again, if the Quran says that Allah is not a father, but somewhere outside of the Quran says he is, then... Whatever is outside the Quran would be false on that on that subject, right? Let me ask you something. Yeah, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. So first. no, no answer to that question, huh? No, no, no. It's, it's, it's going in line with the question. The word "father." Do you mean it literally or what? Does it matter? Can you show me that Allah is a father in yeah, any way, shape, or form? It does. It does. It does matter. It does matter. Good. Can you show me that Allah is a father in any way, shape, or form? If you can show me that, if you can show me that Allah is a father metaphorically in your religion yeah then you have a point if you can't show me that then you're just talking out the side all of your right, neck all right all right metaphorically a father is someone who is a founder a father is someone who is a protector and who is an originator do you agree with that no show me that in the quran where that where that gives that description to Allah no, as no, a father. no 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 right now you just said i should Tell you metaphorically what a father is. I said, I show me not... in the Quran that Allah is a father. Either metaphorically, literally, whatever. Show me from the Quran I don't need to that show Allah is a father. He's a father. I don't need to show you where he says he's a father. Yes, you do. Because you're saying that he's I a don't father. Need to... Why? Okay. When I say... Right, for for example, I, I got you. I, I got you. For example, you got your Quran on you, bro? I can check. I can check. Good. That's what I want you to do for me. Well, okay. Okay, yeah, you, you're you're gonna have to go off the app, huh? You're gonna you only have one device. You're using your phone. Yeah, let me turn on my laptop. All right. Just go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Go to Sir Miriam, please. Sir Miriam. Okay. Go to. Just, I think I'll know what you're referring to. Just say it. I know whether it's going to be allowed or not. Yep, verse ninety-three. It says that none can come to Allah in the heavens or the earth except as a slave. Yeah. 
So you can't even come to Allah in a metaphorical sense as a son. You can only come to him as a slave. I agree with that. Good. I agree with that, yeah. So then that means that Allah is not even a father metaphorically. It doesn't say so. <laughs> you just said you agreed with it. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't say so. Because since I've been saying something, you want you wanted it literally from the Quran. Now you bring up a verse that says Allah is not um, metaphorically a, a father in the Quran. I know it's there, but metaphorically. Okay, so show me the opposite then. Show me that your Quran contradicts this. Yeah, we can keep going. We can keep going like that, like going on and forth. Yeah, I mean, I I was able to produce a verse that proved what I said. So, can you produce a verse that proves what you said? All right, all right. Let's let's head to the Bible now, since this is not mainly to the Bible. We can't we can't go to the Bible until you solidify wait, that wait your God second. is not wait, a father. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. He said to prove Jesus was a Muslim. Yeah, bro. When you said a Muslim is one who submits his will to God, I asked you, which God? I asked you, is this God that you're talking about a father? You said yes, metaphorically. In a sense, yes. I just gave you a yes. verse that says Allah is not a father metaphorically. Cannot be. It doesn't say that. It doesn't okay. say metaphorically. All right, so let, all right, here we go. Watch, watch this. Watch this. It says okay, there is on. none. There is none in the heavens or the earth that can come to Allah except as a slave. So as a slave, I, I didn't hear the word father there. You're right. All you hear is slave yeah. and master. So here's my can question. You be a slave to your father? Here's a, here's my, here's my can question. You be a slave to your father? Can you, are, are you only a slave to your father or are you also a son? Is, can you be a slave to your father? Are you only a slave to your father or are you also a son? I am asking you, can you be a slave to your get, father? Is that out, yes or get no? out of here. You're a dummy. You're, you're, you're a straight dummy. Get out of here. Dummies. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. Can you be a slave, a servant to your father? Yes, you can, but not merely a slave. You will also be a son to your father. This verse says you can only be a slave. So he's not your father. He's just your master. That's the difference. Dummies. Y'all people, bro. How many Muslims, how many of y'all Muslims agree that Allah is a father? I mean, there's some Muslims that's starting to say it now. <laughs> there are some Muslims that are starting to say that Allah is a father now. Embarrassing. Perfect Dawah, how do you join? Is there a link? Yes, you can join. I'm going to have one more guest on TikTok, then I'll bring you up. One more guest on TikTok, then I'll bring you up. Hello there, are you Muslim? Hello. Hello there, are you Muslim? Yes, sir, I'm Muslim. All right, would you like to try to win this money, yeah? Yep, I'm Muslim. Yep. All right, give it a shot. Okay, so you're saying to prove Jesus was Muslim, okay? Yes. Okay, so uh, what I don't understand about Christianity is it says that Jesus prayed to the Father and the Holy Spirit, correct? Yes. Right, but... Um, it also says that God doesn't follow anybody else, and you also say Jesus was a God, correct? What? No, it doesn't say anything what you just said. But, but then, is, how can you prove to me that Jesus? Of... How can you prove Jesus was a Muslim, bro? 
it says in the Quran that he prayed with his head on the uh, he, he prayed with his head on the floor, bro. That's what you said. <laughs> okay. <sighs> if I pray with my head, that's, that, that's I, what it said in the Quran at least. But what did it what did it say in the Bible? I wanna I wanna have what did it say in the Bible it, to it show that he was? Yeah, um, yeah just just really quick. It doesn't say in the Quran that Jesus prayed with his head to the floor. It's nowhere in the Quran. It's nowhere in the Quran. Mm -mm. I don't even know. Uh, uh, I can tell you where that is. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, it's in the Bible that Jesus. Right, well, there was one time where Jesus prayed, and he prostrated when he prayed. Only one time, though. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Wait, hold on. But My he, phone is about to die. If if I leave this call at any time, it's not me. My phone just died. All right. All right. No worries. So if Jesus prayed to us, is, is, is Allah the father of Jesus? No. Uh, so what the guy was saying before, he's not, he's not a father. Never says that anywhere in the Quran. He just doesn't read the Quran. Doesn't, he's not a father. The father he, he's he, the God. He, he was out he's of the, the God of the world. and He created everything. He was out of his mind when he was saying that Allah is the father? Yeah. He, Allah is not the father. He's the God. He's the father to Adam and Eve, I think. I don't... Correct me if I'm wrong. That's I'll, what I'll, I think I'll, it says. I'll, I'll correct you. It doesn't say that he's the father to Adam and Eve. He's just their creator. He's not their father. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, oh, yeah. This is what I meant to say. For yeah. Adam and Eve are our father. I, that's that's what I meant. Right. Right. I know, I know what you meant. No. No worries. So that's good. Yeah. So so you're 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 more knowledgeable about Islam than the than the past guest, and you sound like you're you're way younger than him. Okay. So. Yeah. So if Allah is not the father at all, and he's not the father of Jesus, when Jesus prayed, specifically when he bowed down to pray, he prayed calling God his father. So if Jesus is saying that God is his father, and yet in Islam it teaches that God is not a father, then Jesus can't be a Muslim according to that verse, right? Wait, sorry, repeat that, sorry. If Jesus is saying that God is his father, then he's not a Muslim, right? It says that in the Quran or the Bible? In the Bible. Well, then no, he wouldn't be a Muslim if he prayed to the father. Thank you. You are the first. How old are you? Oh, wait, no, don't say don't say your age. But I, I know yeah, that you, I know that I know that yeah, I know that you're young though. But I'm going to tell you this, bro. You are the first Muslim to be honest on this entire live stream. You're the first one to be honest, bro. And I want to give you. Well, yeah. I want to give you. Well, I want to give you props. Yeah. I want to give you but, props. Seriously, yeah. there's a lot of people in the comment section that's like praising you right now, like celebrating that you were able to be honest without even how young you are. The adults that came before you lied, yapped, wasted my time. But you, you came here. We were straight to the point, and you were honest. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, that, yeah. He couldn't have been a Muslim saying that. I, I, man, God bless you, bro. All right, thank you, bro. You're welcome. Well, while I still have you here, I still have you here. Um, why do you believe that Muhammad is a prophet? Uh. Because it says in the Quran that he was the last prophet sent on this earth hmm. to spread the word of Allah. Okay. Do you believe that Muhammad was in line with uh, Jesus and the previous prophets that came before him? Wait, sorry, repeat that? Do you believe that Muhammad taught the same message that the prophets taught before him? Yeah, I believe so. I believe so. I don't. I don't know if I'm wrong. I, I, don't know. I okay. believe so. That's what it says in the Quran. That's why I believe so. Okay, you're right. It, it is what it says in the Quran that that you know the Quran came confirming which came before it. Right, it came confirming the previous prophets that came before Muhammad and things of this nature. Mm -hmm. Now, this is how you can test this. This is how you would know by going back to read the previous books. That's how you know. So when yeah. you when you read the previous books, like when you read the Torah, when you read the gospel, when you read the Psalms, you can see whether or not the Quran is telling the truth if it actually confirms these books, these scriptures. 
It makes sense? Yeah. So I'm going to leave you with this, bro, because I can't have you on too long because I can get reported. But I'll leave you with this. Um, on, your, on some spare time, you find some time. Open up the gospel. Read it. Okay? Read the gospel. No, I think there's a I think there's a verse in the Quran that says like some of the gospel is actually true. Well, it actually says all of it is true. It says in chapter 5, verse 47, it says, Let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed in it. And whoever doesn't judge by what Allah has revealed, they're the wrongdoers. It also says in chapter 5, verse uh, 60, 68, it says. The people of the book have nothing to stand on unless they stand on the Torah and the gospel and all that has been revealed from their Lord. Never in the Quran will you ever see it say that it's that some of the gospel is true while others is false. It never says that. It always confirms everything that's with the Jews and Christians at that time. Always. So that's, yeah. that's something for you to check out, okay? Yeah, bro. Uh, on my spare time, I'll definitely look up on on it for sure. And and come back anytime. Look, my YouTube. You are you on YouTube anytime? You watch YouTube videos and stuff. Yeah. Okay. On YouTube, I can have you on as long as I want. On TikTok, I can't because of the rules here. But on YouTube, we can talk all day. So my YouTube is the same as my name. It's God Logic. It's it's in my bio. So if you ever want to come and talk about Christianity or anything like that or Islam, maybe try to win some more some twenty two hundred dollars. Come to my YouTube channel, bro. We could talk all day. Okay? All right, bro. All right. Uh, thanks very much. All right. Thank you for being a good guest, man. You're the best. All right, man. All right, peace. Wow. It takes a youngster to show up the Muslim adults. Incredible. Yeah, guys, this is TikTok right here. This is what you see here? Oh, hold on. Is it showing my mouse? Yeah. Well, you can't see my mouse, but this is TikTok. You see all these comments and hearts? That's TikTok. Why is it that he sounded like he was probably like 12 years old? <laughs> but, you know, he's probably, I don't know, 14, 15. Why is it that the, the children are the most honest out of the Muslim groups? Yeah, I got you a uh, perfect dollar. What up, DJ? What's going on, brother? Good to see you. Good to see you too, man. Good to see you too. Another late night stream. Another late night stream. I'm about to wrap up with this last guest, though. I'm about to let good, good kid, though. Yeah. Kid was good, man. Yeah, good absolutely. Kid. All right, that. So, hold on, yeah. before you say something, DJ. So, this link I am sending YouTube. Listen carefully. Listen carefully, YouTube. This is only for Perfect Dawa. I am not accepting any other guests. This is only for Perfect Dawa. Okay? So if I see anybody else hit that link, you will be immediately banned from the stream yard because I just said only Perfect Dawa hit the link. All right? So listen up. If you do not want to be banned and you want a chance to come on my live on another time, don't hit the link. This is for Perfect Dawa. All right, here we go. <laughs> b -b 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 banned. <laughs> All right, go ahead, DJ. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> oh man yeah you you have you have a horse voice because it's late i have a horse voice because of ufc 300 but we'll go past that um <laughs> i missed it man i missed it oh man. man but anyways um for all those who like say like oh this person in the comments this person is young logic knows Okay, he, he has a brain. He knows who he's talking to. Okay. And also for any of the comments that say, hey, talk to somebody who's knowledgeable on Islam. And here's the thing. <laughs> the Bible is not the Quran. 
we know Allah leads astray whom he wills. But this is what, this is what uh, the Bible says. <laughs> this is first Timothy chapter two, uh, verse three. This is good. And it is pleasing in the sight of God, our savior. And who is the savior? Jesus Christ. Who desires all people to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. So it's not just the knowledgeable Muslims. We don't care if they don't know about their religion. We desire all people to be saved. Mm -hmm. Right. That's right. So just wanted to throw that out there. Thank you for that, DJ. Yeah, guys. Not as stupid as I look. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not as stupid as I look. I know a young voice when I hear it. Pope and others. <laughs> I I I can I have a brain. You think that I'm gonna I'm gonna stop sowing seeds just because of age? What kind of sense does that make? Oh, well, lo lo logic, logic, he's young. Religion that well. He's he's young. Logic, he's young. Don't don't give him the gospel. They're the ones who are ripe before they've been Doesn't, completely brainwashed. Before they've been given over. Mm -hmm. Before they've been uh, hardened in their heart. Doesn't Christ say, our Lord say, to the kingdom of heaven belongs the little ones? Belongs the little ones, mm -hmm. man. They went to Jesus, yeah. man. I mean, and oh, we're, we're not going to listen to these Dawah guys saying, talk to the knowledgeable ones. No, we're going to talk to all of them. That is correct. Because God desires them all to be saved. That is correct. Amen to that. All right. Well, Perfect Dawa is ready. So I'm going to go ahead and get him up here. Appreciate you, brother, for having my back, man. I always count on you, man. Amen, bro. I will drop down. God bless. God bless. Ah. Uh. All right, perfect dollar. Hello, how you doing? Yeah, fine. How are you? I'm pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Uh, I would like to say that uh, actually, I believe that the purpose of religion, send God sending prophets, was to solve our problems. <clears throat> we had a lot of problems in the past, and God sent us uh, religion and prophets to solve our problems to teach us to love one another, live together, you know, share everything with each other, not fighting. And unfortunately, uh, somehow religion, according many people, have add to some other problems as well, like, uh, you know, all the time trying to disprove each other's uh, beliefs. Uh, Muslims do that. Christians do that. They're trying to prove that. I am the only one who is right and you are wrong. So I believe myself that uh, we should, uh, you know, uh, love one another. And love one another is not, uh, for example, uh, when Jesus say, love your neighbor as you love yourself, that I open my door every morning and my Christian neighbor, I say, oh, your religion is stupid or your God is that, you know, that's not love, okay? So we should respect each other. Discussion is good, but uh, not so many, you know, like in this way that uh, we try to disprove each other and debunk each other. We should unite as there are Christian Jews, uh, you know, uh, uh, Muslims who unite as well, trying to, you know, solve uh, the common problems that we have in this world. So I don't know why um, is that so important that people try to say your religion is wrong, my religion is right. Uh, I don't see any sense in that when God sent us religion to solve our problems, not to add to it, you know. And this has added to our problems that uh, I see so many Christian and Muslim, they, uh, Muslims all the time say, oh, Jesus wasn't God, oh, uh, you know, Christianity is wrong, and oh, he wasn't son of God. But my, my answer to them is that if all Christians tomorrow, all, every one of them, converted to Islam, would our problems uh, get away? No. We would have still all these problems we have, you know, uh, still. I have, uh, I have the answer for you, my friend. Yes. So this is why we as Christians are mm -hmm. very adamant on telling non-Christians that they are in falsehood, 
and that they need to come to Christ immediately as soon as possible. I'm about to show you. Okay, why. so if so, if we all become Christians tomorrow, yeah, you I'm think a, that I'm, prostitution, I'm, I'm, drugs, I'm, all these things will I'm disappear? Show you, I'm gonna show you why. Just give me a second here. Yes, please. It says, "For God so loved the world." This is Jesus speaking. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Mm -hmm. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Mm -hmm. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only son of God. Okay. So this is why it is imperative that we as Christians preach the gospel of the son of God, because whoever doesn't believe in him is condemned. Okay. All right. That's why. No, I didn't say that you don't, uh, you shouldn't preach your gospel. I, okay. have, I, have That's, to tell you, I have to tell you that Islam is false because it's okay. against Christ. And okay, so that's so that's you make that one as because Jesus also said, "Love your neighbor as you love yourself." Okay, so that yeah. makes makes that, uh, for example, I believe that Islam is uh, uh, right. So I should every morning uh, when I uh, see my neighbor, I say, "Your religion is false." Uh, and, yes, you, know, you are. That is, that's, that is I mean, love. That's that the love. love. Yeah? Yeah, let, yeah let, let me put in an illustration. Yeah. I like this illustration. Mm -hmm. Maybe you've heard it before, but okay. let me just put it like this. Um, if if uh, if someone was in a burning house with their headphones on and they didn't mm -hmm. know, they, they, they wasn't aware that they was in a burning house, okay. would you, and you're outside and you see them through the window, would you okay. yell, hey, get out, your house is burning, or would you let them burn with the house? But that's your, uh, you know, your belief that the house is burning. Give we me, believe that the house is not burning. Just quick, just give me an answer, brother. Yes, what, I said that you, that you see. We don't see that the house is burning. I, I understand what you, I understand. Just <laughs> now follow with me. Yeah. Would you tell that person, would you yell with all your heart, with all your lungs, get out, get out of that house. You're going to die. It's, you're going to burn down with the house. Would you yell that to that person to try to get their attention? Okay, so, uh, all right, so you mean that if we become Christian, okay? Why are you uh, not answering the question, my friend? No, because uh, that, that's uh, not a correct, uh, you know, example, okay? Because Why are you not answering the question, my friend? Yeah, if, if that's real, yeah, if it's that, that's real, then of course you can shout, you can say that, come out from the house. Yeah, you can go even is, save the is, person. Is that, is that love? To yeah, that's a person who is in a burning house who's unaware that they're in a burning house. Is it love to yell at them to tell them to get out? Okay, so all right, now you have to tell me that is that love. That's all, all I right. want to yes, is that yeah. love? Yes, definitely. But, okay. but, but so this is the view. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. This is the view. This is the view of Christianity, and this is what okay. Jesus teaches in the Bible. Okay, that you and all non believers are okay. in a burning house. Okay. While we are on the outside of the burning house, we okay. used to be the same burning house that you were, but, okay. but Christ pulled us out. All so right. we're trying to tell you also and trying to make you aware that you are still in that burning house. Okay. So it is it is incumbent of me as a brother in humanity okay. and as a servant to my Lord to mm -hmm. yell, get out, okay. get out of that burning house. Or you will burn with the house. All right. Love. Can I can I say something? So you believe every non-Christian will go to hell? Am I right? That is correct. Yeah. So that's exactly what uh, in Islam, these extremist Muslims like ISIS, Taliban, also believe that everyone else will go to hell. Okay. And I don't like uh, because I'm a no. Okay. Of the Quran. Study. Chapter what? 98, verse 6 of the Quran. Those 98. who believe among the people of the book and the polytheists okay. will, have, will uh -huh. be in hellfire. Okay, so uh, do you know that those who disbelieve, uh, actually it doesn't say those who disbelieve, it says yes, those, it who, no, no, it does, it, uh, look, it says those who commit kofr, amount. When it says amount, okay, uh, first of all, you have to know 
that chapter 3 verse 7 says that uh, how to read Quran is says that there are unspecific verses of Quran that only those firm in knowledge and Allah understand the true no, interpretation. No, it actually okay. it actually says that only Allah knows the meaning, not no. even people of knowledge. Okay. All right. So it it is it says that only Allah and those firm in knowledge know the true interpretation, and no, those okay. firm in knowledge no, just because right. you're yeah, no because you're butchering you're butchering your own text. Again, no, I don't. Your text don't. says that only Allah knows the meaning, not no. people of knowledge. Absolutely okay. not. Okay. All right. I'll show you. I'll show, yes. you, I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show okay. you, I'll show you, I'll show you. I know that I have listened to me. And those firm in knowledge say we believe in it, all of it is from our Lord. Yeah, okay? do they know it? Do they so, know it's meaning though? They don't understand. So if they don't understand why they believe in something do that they, they don't understand. Meaning, Sorry, if they don't understand the true interpretation of that, why they believe in it when they don't understand the because they know because they believe it's from their lord they don't have yeah, to understand it for them to believe that it's from their lord okay so they don't have to follow these verses because they don't understand no it's not they that believe. they don't have to follow them they don't have what? to understand them as long as they accept yeah, that it's when you don't understand lord. it when you don't understand look, it how can right. you follow it here okay? it is right here you see this it says all right and no one knows its interpretation all except right. allah right Okay, can you bring the Arabic one? Because there is no dot there in Arabic. Okay? In the Arabic, there is no doubt, dot here. there. There is no any dot there that it finishes it. Okay, it says, bring the Arabic. There you go. All right. So you see that there is no any doubt between the words. Okay? They are joined. So you can make it like that, that only Allah knows, and then... Those who fear me now, let's say this, but you can say like this that yeah. only Allah knows the true interpretation of it, and those fear me knowledge. And then stop says they say, oh, says, come on, those bro. You, you okay. corrupt in your own All text. Right. Yeah. No, I'm not corrupting it. I say that, in your own okay. Text. I, I look, I say wow. that, look, I say that if they those fear me knowledge. If mm. they are fear me knowledge and they don't understand the true interpretation of it, how can they follow it? How can I know, for example, that uh, let's say I have to uh, slash adulterers hundred, or if it is un, you know, uh, unspecific, how can I know that how I have to slash them, for example? That's a okay. problem for the Quran. All right, so so that's look. I say the the verse. You 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 have no you have no look, problem corrupting your own book, bro. That's no, I, I don't corrupt it. You know, the verse says those. Whose heart is corrupted, they follow only. It says, the no one knows its interpretation except Allah. But those firm in knowledge say, yeah. We believe in no. it. All is from our Lord. I showed you in Arabic. There where, is, is no where does it Allah. say? Where does it say? No, you didn't show in Arabic no. that it says that they and they know as well. No, I listen to me. It completely I, separates them and says, Allah is the one who knows the true meaning. No one knows except Allah. But those in who are firm in knowledge, they say, We believe in it all. Yeah, my brother, I showed, text, bro? No, my brother, I showed you in Arabic that there is no dot. These they have put dot. It there. Be a dot. It in is their own it's dead, and no one knows except the, the interpretation except Allah. No, Why I are see. you playing with your own? See how how, how is it possible <laughs> that we can have a conversation when okay. you guys are so ready and willing to lie on your own book? How can we do this? I'm How? not lying. Listen to me. The verse front of you. That's say, wild. Okay, the verse front of you. I showed in Arabic. There is no any doubt there. Okay, I'm not lying to you. You are. The verse can, says that those whose heart is corrupted, they follow only the unspecific verses of Quran. Now we go back to chapter ninety-eight, verse six that you said. It says those among, among. When I say those among Americans who are racist. It doesn't mean all Americans. When you go to chapter three, verse I I, I I said that, my, my friend, okay. you don't have to over explain something that I already said. Okay. I said that chapter 98, six says those who disbelieve no, it doesn't among say. the people of the book and the oh, okay, wait. Yes. Why amount? So that means not? it's not all of them, but it's the disbelievers among them. That so there are disbelievers fire. among the people of the book, and yep. there are believers among the people of Correct. the book. Correct. Yeah? And the disbelievers, okay. what will happen to the disbelievers? Okay. So listen to me. 
uh, it is not, it doesn't say disbelievers, it says kuffar and kuf is word not kuffar mean? The word kuffar is rejection, rejecting it means Allah's disbelief. command. Okay, let me, let me uh, teach you about the uh, word kuffar, okay? Please, just a second. It's right here on uh, the screen. Yes, just a second. It means to disbelieve. Yeah, you, you, you read the translation, not the... I'm reading the Arabic here. No, the, you read, the yes, in Arabic it says kafir, okay? Okay, uh, let me... Come on, you. man. Chapter, okay, okay, go to chapter 16, verse 83. I'm okay. right here. No, go to chapter... It says that those among the people of the book who disbelieve... No. Will be in hell, kufr. correct? It said those who commit kufr among them, okay? Not this. What is that? What is that? Okay, so I, I have to teach you then. Uh, what, what, what is that? Is. What is that? Kufr, yeah, those who commit kufr, okay? What is that? Kufr, what is that is that they, they do bad deeds, all right? Uh, and uh, they go against the commands of God, like uh, love one another, okay? Uh, okay can you go to chat? I, I, I don't have time for this. You You begged to come up here just to lie on your own Quran? Come on, bro. You wait. You wasted my time. You was a complete and utter waste of time. Even Muslims are correcting you here. <laughs> oh man, you can't make this up. You can't make this up. All right. Well, I have fun. I hope that you guys had fun too. Just had to get in a quick little, you know, get my fix. You know what I'm saying? Had to get my fix real quick. You know, you know, you know, I can't stay away for too long, man. I tried to get these, you know, two days off, use the weekend to to take a break. But these people, man. There is no shame in these people. Out of everyone that I spoke to today, out of everyone that I spoke to today, it took a child, a child, to be the only one who can be honest. A child. Can't make this up. I spoke to numerous adults, adult men, grown men, grown men, all of them lied, yapped, pontificated as if they know something, openly tried to deceive, thought that they can play games with me. Wasted my time. The one who was genuine and honest was a child. Y'all y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself, man. You people ought to be ashamed of yourselves. But this is the fruit. This is the fruit of this religion. And this is why I do not to get surprised. I don't get surprised. I do not get surprised. For even the Muslims was calling this dude out in my comment section. Even the Muslims. Look at the screen. Why? I'm looking at the screen. Or do you want me to look at my camera? Or the screen. What's in the what's here? Whew. Man, it's tough. Tough world. Tough world. But all right, you guys have a wonderful morning. You guys have a wonderful morning, wherever you are, or evening, wherever you are. I don't care what the people want. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Oh, Faye. 
Hey, come back. Come back. Uh, I'll be live again Monday, okay? I may be live again tomorrow. I don't know, but definitely Monday. Come back Monday. We can talk for sure. Come on back. We can talk. But good night, everybody.